What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and have you ever wondered how some photographers get beautiful, crystal clear blue water in their photos? Well, it is actually fake. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can create this really cool effect just using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got water in your photo, obviously. If we're changing the color of water, make sure. Now it can be any color, uh, it can be black, it can be green, which is the typical case we're using today. So uh, have a look to see if this effect works for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our sample photo of, right. So the first thing you want to do guys is you want to go ahead and duplicate the background layer. So we've got our background layer here. We're gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and activate smart filters. So we're gonna go up to filter, and we're gonna go ahead and drop down or convert to smart filters. This will allow us to change the effect afterwards in case you're finding it's a bit too strong or a bit too weak post creation. So once we've done that, what we want to do now is go ahead and activate the camera raw filter. So we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go ahead and drop down to the camera raw filter or shift command A. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna create just a few global adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and overall increase the exposure add a little bit more contrast, bring down those highlights while bringing up the shadows. I'm gonna bring down the whites because it's pretty bright in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna add a slight amount of texture, slight amount of clarity, and a tiny amount of dehaze, and then bring up the vibrance. Okay, but as you can see, the color of the uh, particular, the sea hasn't changed. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a mask. So what we're gonna do is gonna go to the mask selection. So this little circle found in the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and select. Now, Photoshop doesn't do a great job when it comes to select large areas like land or sea. It does a good job when it comes to selecting the sky, but in this particular case, we're actually going to be using the brush tool. So we're gonna to go to the brush tool here, and we're gonna go ahead and select a mask. Now you can change the size by scrolling up and down on your wheel of your mouse. And I'm gonna go for a size like so. I'm gonna just quickly create a very, very quick mask selection of the sea. So we're gonna go ahead and select it like so, making sure the entire C is selected. Now, it doesn't matter too much how close you are to the land because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a layer mask selection later on in Photoshop to be a little bit more precise. So once we've done that, these are the effects or slider changes you're gonna need to move to create a crystal clear blue C. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brighten that exposure slightly while bringing down the contrast. We're also gonna bring down those highlights and we're gonna also bring down the shadows there as well. Now we can also bring down the whites, uh, actually you no, know, bring up the whites ever so slightly while bringing down the blacks. And a little bit more pinch of a black creates a little bit more of a contrast, especially in the shadow areas. Okay, so what we could do is add in a little bit more saturation, but not by too much. And then we're gonna to go to our texture. We're gonna bring that down. We're also gonna do the same with clarity, bring that down as well while adding in a small amount of dehaze. So we're gonna go for that. Now, as you can see, the color hasn't changed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our temperature here and we're gonna drag that over to the left. And depending on how far left you go, or depending on how blue it looks, I'm gonna go for a bit more, quite, a, quite an extreme color. So I'm gonna go for this color blue. Okay, now what you can do is go to this hue section here and what we can do is add in a good amount of blue. So if you drag it up, you're increasing saturation. Uh, so I'm gonna go for an effect like so. Might bring back that temperature slightly and add in a little bit more of that blue. Okay, now I am absolutely loving that color C. But as you can see, if we go ahead and zoom in over there, you can see it has a bled over onto the, the sand area and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a better cutout of the C using layer masks in Photoshop. So now we're done with the camera raw filter. So what we can do, is go down to the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and click OK. And what this will do is it will open it back up into Photoshop. Now, what I recommend doing is selecting that layer, going down to our layer mask icon, clicking so we have a layer mask. Then you want to make sure you've got black as your foreground color, and you want to go ahead and select the brush tool. So that's B on your keyboard, or you can go ahead and find it on the left hand side tools panel. So what I recommend doing is zooming in, 
finding an area that you want to remove, choosing the size brush that you want, then simply go ahead and remove it from the area that you think hasn't been affected correctly. So for instance, the land here, we don't want it on that land. We've got these little rocks here and a little bit more of the sand around here. Now, the longer you spend on this, the better I think the results ending up looking. And you can increase and decrease the brush size depending on the size and area that you are working on. But as you can see, it has worked quite nicely. Now, the reason I do it this way and not the other way is because the brush tool, especially in the camera raw filter, is quite finicky and it doesn't work great. It's good for selecting larger areas, but if you're trying to go around the rocks, you could spend absolutely hours where we have done it a lot quicker just using the layer mask tool found within Photoshop. So I recommend doing it this way other than doing that way or both results end up looking the same, but this way is just, I find a little bit quicker. So what I can do is zoom out and basically show you the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. And I must say, I absolutely love this effect. You'll see a lot of Instagram users use this, a lot of travel photographers do it because seas end up looking quite green or sometimes quite gray. So you can add in a nice punchy amount of crystal clear blue water to your photos. Here is the before and here is the after.